Welcome to Ride Ideas with Susan, where I put up simple tutorials to help people like you who are giving your time to teach children. And today I have a meaningful Mother's Day lesson idea, and I'm going to be uploading it into three parts. So part one, this one, is going to be the actual object lesson, the teaching lesson. And then in part two and three, I'm going to give you activities both for older kids all the way up to 16 as well as younger kids from four years old to about nine in part three. Anyway, let's jump into part one. Now, I have been doing this lesson for a long time, well over 20 years, and I tell you, I get the most feedback from this lesson from parents, especially moms. And what I've done is I've just taken a sketch pad, and I tell the kids, hey kids, we're gonna look at some special words today. And all I do is I sit them down close to me and I talk about various words like honor. And I say, hey kids, what does honor mean? And what do you do when you honor someone? And so we have a discussion about the word. And then I go through the definition of the word as well. And then from that I say, oh, well, that takes us to the word respect. Tell me, what does respect mean? And again, we have another discussion about it. What does it mean? to show respect and that sort of thing. And then I go through my little sheet here about respect. And then we come to another word, or two words this time, happy life. Who wants to have a happy life? And of course, all the hands go up. I said, yes, we all wanna have a happy life. Did you know the Bible gives us some clues on how to have a happy life? In fact, there's a commandment in the Bible that even has a promise, and it's written down a number of times in the Bible. Let me show it to you. And so I read it to them, and I say, you know, it says, children, obey your father and your mother, and you will have a long and happy life. Wow. So what's the command here? Yeah, obey your father and your mother. And what's the promise here? And you will have a long and happy life. Well, I wonder why God would command us to obey our mother and father. Why do you think he wants us to do that? And of course, we have a discussion about it. The kids know. They come up with great answers about it. I say, isn't it great that God reminds us how one of the ways to have a happy life is to obey our mother and our father? Well, let's look at another word. word. <laughs> and then we go on to the word encourage. What does encourage mean? Again, we talk about it, what it means, and to give courage, confidence, and support. And I say, you know what? There's a special day coming up. Does anybody know what it is? Yes, it's Mother's Day. And today we are gonna work on something to encourage your mother, or you can do this for your grandmother, or maybe you have a special auntie that you wanna do something special and encourage her. So we're gonna do that today, and the Bible tells us a really important way that we can encourage someone. And you know that how to do that? We can do that with kind words. Yes, in Proverbs it tells us that kind words are like honey. They cheer you up and make you feel strong. And I say, why would the Bible describe kind words like honey? And then of course we talk about that. And then I say, well, how do kind words cheer you up and make you feel strong. And of course the kids talk about that and we have a great time talking about this little verse. And then I say, okay kids, now we're gonna take some time and we're gonna do something to encourage and show love to the special mom in your life using kind words. And then I go into the activity for the kids. Now for the older kids, I will be showing you in part two how I help them craft a beautiful Mother's Day letter. This is really significant, so make sure you catch part two. And that's for like ages nine all the way to 16. And then for the younger ones, we do a simple sort of little card. And again, there are little tricks and tips to help you in getting the most out of this little activity, and that'll be in part three. Now, here is my old, old uh, one, and I've just made this new one because I thought, you know what, you guys may appreciate having help in making something like this. So what I decided to do is I put on my website these big sheets that you can download, and you can just glue them into a sketchbook, and then you've got the teaching portion or these little charts to be able to use with your lesson. And for my American friends, I even have done a special 
uh, honor page for you because in America, you know, we spell honor differently to where we spell honor in different parts of the world. So you'll find both of those versions on my website. Anyway, I hope you like this idea. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see how to do the letter and also the card, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and you'll be notified whenever I put up part two and part three. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in part two.